Hi, hey, everybody. Your old buddy, Ollie Rush again. I thought I'd step out just a little bit further because I've got something it's still within the realms of the coronavirus, but it's more like at the end realms. And I want to really bring a question to your mind, one that you never, or you never ever really think about. But by the time I'm finished today, you will be thinking. And that subject is living in the last days, things you are going to see that you do not want to see. Now, I know a lot of you are going to come out and say, well, I don't believe this and I don't believe that. But I'm, I'm telling you now, there are things walking around us and beside us that we have not seen or we only seen them peripherally or in our peripheral vision, which is a fleeting side view. But when we look head on or straight at them, they're not there. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, they're not there because they don't want you to see them head on. But when they do, they will. And some of you still will not believe it. But we're going to repeat this again. Living in the last days, things you're going to see that you do not want to see. But I say now, get used to it. There is more to come. It is the thing that you don't see which are the most problematic. You can sum up a strategy for a fight with man because you can gauge his actions by past experiences. Man does not totally have the element of surprise, though some things he does are surprisingly shocking. But deep down, you know that man is capable of awful as well as great things. Question is, are we really, are we ready for what is to come? These last days are going to bring us seemingly unfathomable experiences. We walk alongside invisibilities. Yes, that's what I said, invisibilities. Please allow me to call it that which were spoken of many years ago by the same man who gave his life a ransom for all. Because of treacherous ways and sin, we must now endure that same thing that we cannot wrap our minds around. We simply do not believe. Non-belief does not eradicate reality. Many things walk this earth that we cannot see. The fact that I have been in the ministry and during my ministerial processes, I have encountered things that a lot of people who consider themselves normal would not believe. And believe you me, I am normal. Allow me to assist you in opening your eyes to this reality. Sickness is just the beginning. Conventional weaponry will not do harm to unseen entities. Think about it. You have noticed shadows in your peripheral vision, but when you turn to look, it was not there. I'm telling you that it was and is there. It didn't want you to see it. I'll say that again. Get used to it. You must get used to it because it's there and it's something that we're really 
going to have to deal with sooner or later. Many things walk this earth that cannot be seen. Allow me to, to open your eyes to this reality. These are the last days. Terror has been released from down under. Sickness comes and will continue to come. Basically because of sin and carelessness, but thoughtless ways. God has grown tired of it. Satan is loose and sinking, seeking whom he may devour and keep out of heaven. This is the battle. This is why these things are becoming more and more prevalent in these our last days. And we are living in the last days. Satan's main objective is to deny God as many souls as he can. Though this is not man's battle, but God, but God's. When man, let it be known, he is for God. He becomes a Christian soldier. He must put on the whole armor of God and resist the wiles, which are the very tricks of the devil. What you believe determines where you will end up. Your physical strength is connected to your spiritual worth. Listen to me good now. Your physical strength is connected to your spiritual worth. We gather our strength from our spiritual well-being. Satan notices the hidden aspects of your spirit, man, and makes a decision on how he attacks you. He sees every kink in your armor of life, every hole in your armor of protection, and marks them for later battles to destroy you. That is the objective in these last days. When Satan was asked a question in the book of Job, where have you been? He said from going to and fro, to and fro in the earth, seeking whom I may devour. That is his wish, not only to keep you out of heaven, but to destroy you before you can get there. When your strength is built on and around fear, Satan will strategically tear down your life's defenses and replace each with problems that will devour mental, physical, and spiritual well-being. I bring to your attention once again, God did not give us fear. Us, I mean the Christian. He gave us love, power, and a sound mind. I repeat that again. A great hurdle that many find hard to jump is fear. It is used strategically to control and convince mankind to change course regardless of principles or morals. We rely on hope now that happenstance accidentally allows situations to pan out in the direction that pleases and serves our desires. Why, how, and where used to be questions asked. The answer has always led us to betterment in life and has usually been solving factors in life. Now, Let's list some of the things that you're going to see. And believe it or not, when you see them, you remember that I told you, but you're going to see them. A fly that flies through the window without bouncing off the pane. You swat a fly when you check to see if he's dead he literally disappears before your eyes. 
You see a bug on the wall. You hit him. He seems to fall, but you can't find you cannot find him nowhere or anywhere. Faces on your walls, little faces that you do not or did not put there. Shadows appearing and gliding down the walls of your home. When you look, they are not there. How do they get there? And how do these unseen entities get here? Are you listening to me? Portals. What is a portal? A portal is an opening from one realm to another. Entities are constantly traveling back and forth, creating and causing destruction. It is these portals that allow these entities to connect their world to yours. Now you've heard of you've heard of uh, the demonic. A lot of people don't believe it. But just because you do not believe it does not mean it is not so. These demonic creatures have been loosed upon this earth. They are most prevalent now in this day. They are most prevalent now in this day day you be careful watch get ready to fight and always pray because this is a spiritual battle and Jesus has leased his name to Christians and mankind because there's so much power just in that name and at that name every knee must bow and the only way you're going to be able to do battle with these things is through the name of jesus he sent his disciples out two by two and one of the things he told them to do was to cast out unclean spirits that and those are demons they are existent in this day and they are prevalent in this day and they're not in some places and and then they're, they're missing from others but they are all over this world they have been loosed be sure you can stand up to them that you have the whole armor of god on which is a protective covering be sure you do not fear, you are not laden in fear, and you have faith in God. It's the only way to battle these things. And whether you think I'm crazy or not, when you see, and you will, you will believe. Now, I say this and I really mean it. God bless you.